Hello, this is Anita, Captivate Crazy. Today we're going to do a short tutorial on how to insert an audio button where the user can toggle audio, play and pause, but every time they play the audio it's going to start playing from the very beginning. So the first thing I want to do is check my library and we'll have already created my audio, either recorded it or imported it and named my audio so that it's easy to locate later on. Then I'm going to insert either a smart shape or a button. In this case I'd like to insert a smart shape and I'm going to select my, let's say, more information button and I'm going to go ahead and put it down here in the properties panel with the information button selected. I'm going to make sure that it is used as a button and I've already created a custom style that I'd like to use. Um, in my options panel I always like to use the hand cursor and in the properties panel under action on success I'm going to select execute advanced actions. If I'd like to either see this or create a new advanced action I can go to project advanced actions or I can click on this little folder to the right of the script. Now this is going to bring up my advanced actions dialog box but the first thing I have to do is create a variable. So down at the bottom there there's a little button that says variables and I'm going to add a new button that, and I'm going to call it V underscore audio toggle and then I'm going to click save and then I'm clicking close and I have my variable. Now I'm going to create a new advanced action so I'm going to click on the plus sign that says create a new action. I'll make sure that it is a conditional action and I'm going to call it toggle audio play pause. And I can name it in here too if I like. I just double click and say play pause. In this case we're not going to do more than one so you don't have to but it's a good habit to get into. So under the if statement, perform action if all conditions are true, I'm going to double click and I'm going to click on the drop down and select my variable. And I know I called it V, so I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom, because it's optimized, audio toggle. And then in the select comparison, I'm going to click on the drop down and select is equal to, and then I'm going to select the drop down to the right of that and select literal. I'm going to type in the number zero and select enter on my keyboard. Then in the actions I'm going to double click and select assign. Scroll down, select assign and I'm going to select my variable again. This time I'm going to select literal and I'm going to type in the number one, select enter on my keyboard. Now down here there's this little else. I'm going to click on that, double click in the actions, select assign, and I'm going to select my variable and I'm going to select the literal action of zero. Now, I made a mistake here, so I need to go back to my if statement, and under the actions, I need to double click on the row below and select play audio, and then I'm going to double click on here and select my file. So here's my audio files. I can import a file if I like from here, or since I already have my files, I can select it if I want to. I can play it, make sure it's the correct file, and then click OK. So I'm going to go back to my else, and then under the else, when it's assigned a zero, I'm going to um, stop the audio. 
So I'm going to stop triggered audio, and I don't even need to put um, what the audio is. Captivate already knows. So I'm going to click Save, and then I'm clicking Close. Now I need to make sure that the action script is the correct advanced action that I just created, which was toggle audio play pause. Okay, now I'm going to preview this slide. Click F4. Play my audio. Bulbs can be used as fire indicators. However, fire okay, investigators click should Click it again, it stops the audio. If I click it again, it starts the audio from the very beginning. Bulbs can be used as fire indicators. However, fire investigators should be advised that they are very... Click it again, it stops the audio. Bulbs can be used as fire indicators. Starts it from the very beginning every time. And there you have it.